The shooters letting off over a dozen rounds here on this residential street, and you can see the bullets flew everywhere, including right here on the back of that Nissan. You can see uh, the gunshot right where that police officer is walking right at this hour. Uh, also, among the victims, an eight-year-old boy who was just riding his bike here in the neighborhood when a stray bullet hit him. That eight-year-old is now at Children's Hospital needing surgery after he was wounded in his shoulder, simply just doing what kids do here. The 39-year-old dad, who police believe was the intended target of this, was also shot twice along with their neighbor, who was just getting out of his car when he was hit. Detectives got a glimpse of the shooters who they say rolled up on 178th Street in a dark sedan and let off as many as 17 rounds just before 10 last night. As this gun violence continues to skyrocket all across the city, reporters are pressing the mayor why he hasn't expressed more outrage or perhaps done even more, especially as we're seeing now children being caught in the crossfire. Every day I'm working, NYPD is working, community leaders are working to stop violence. Of course it's unacceptable. And that goes without saying, we're doing the things to turn this city around. That's what we need to focus on. Well, no arrests in this case as of yet, according to police. However, all three of the victims, we are told, are expected to recover, including that young boy. One final note, police tell us that boy's father, who is an alleged gang member, has been arrested several times before and also survived two previous shootings. Reporting live in St. Albans, Queens, I'm Anthony DiLorenzo, PIX11 News.